Hey there, so you've landed on another video and in this video we're going to cover the east side of Petaluma. We're going to look at three houses, three neighborhoods, talk about the lifestyle here, the difference between the east side and the west side of Petaluma, and um, talk about the distance from this part of Petaluma to Santa Rosa, and um, other things about the culture and living here. So stay tuned, let's go on a great tour. Hi, is this your first time to this channel? Well, hit that subscribe button and the little bell and the thumbs up because I put out a new video every single Friday and sometimes a bonus video on Mondays. This is Anita Anderson with Discover Sonoma County Living and I'm a local realtor and I get phone calls and texts and emails from people just like you all the time looking for information about Sonoma County and we love to talk to you. When I say we, I've got a great team to help you out and me and we love to share Sonoma County. I was born and raised here and I love to share everything about it. This is shot in a neighborhood in Petaluma and um, gosh, we're visiting the six main cities in the county. They're listed right here. Those are the ones we service the most. So um, give us a call if you're interested and um, we'll love to talk to you and get going on your transition. So um, let's look at another tour video of house. Let's start on house number one. Coming up right now. Okay, so we're going to start exploring the east side of Petaluma, looking at uh, the north end here first at 1827 Hartman Lane. Three bedroom, two bath, a little bit over 1,600 square feet. Uh, 1999, these were all built, and it sold in the fall of 2021 for, I'm going to turn around here so you can see it behind me, for 890 and uh, sold in the middle of the fall last year. So uh, these houses are more in the 16, 18, 19 square foot, and they are a mixture of one story and two story. We're right here near Corona Creek School. You can see right there, the school's right there. And all in the back of this whole area is really where country starts. Um, horse country moving into Roner Park and um, Katati and Pengrove and that area, moving north from here. So the houses kind of end and then the country starts again and then the next city starts. So um, let's go take a look uh, at this neighborhood and then move on to house number two. Okay, so we're here on house number two, and we are still cro close to the Corona Creek School and the Leghorn Shopping Center in the north side of Petaluma, and uh, the north northeast side of Petaluma. This neighborhood was built in around 1994, and we're gonna look at 709 Mayflower. Uh, in this neighborhood, you'll see a lot of the shared driveways like this. So there's four houses on here with the shared driveway. 709 is in the back, and it's a four bedroom, three bath, a little bit over 1,700 square feet. And it sold um, last fall, it closed in October. It was on the market for a little while and uh, mm, five or six months actually. But it's sold and uh, it sold for its list price. So I'm just gonna do a little 360 here so you can see all the houses in the neighborhood. Lots of one bedrooms in this neighborhood too. One and two bedrooms. A little mini shared driveway. I wouldn't call it a cul-de-sac, but just shared. And you see this a lot. These houses have smaller backyards uh, but you know as much as I talk about the big backyard thing there's plenty of you watching that are like I don't want to take care of a big yard we both work we have kids we're busy I'd like a little backyard to barbecue in have the family over once in a while but frankly I don't need a huge huge backyard and that's where these houses really come in and people are pretty attracted to that lifestyle so uh, this whole neighborhood is 1994 1700 1500 square foot homes um, with small er backyards not real real small um, but not expansive and set back like you hear me talk about all the time on the west side of Petaluma now let's bounce over to house number three So here we 
are at 958 Quarry Street, still on the northeast side of Petaluma. And um, these were built in the 1994 era, kind of around there. Uh, this house is almost 1,900 square feet. It sold, uh, it closed like last September, October, for a million eighty. This is a three bedroom, three bath, two story, nice size backyard. This, uh, these houses are a little bit bigger, close to 2,000 square feet. In this neighborhood, you'll get 20, 22, 2300 square feet. And um, I'll walk around a little bit so you can see it. So this is still on at that north end, near the Lagern um, Shopping Center where you have Safeway. Great places to go out. Pongo, great restaurant. You gotta try it. Um, Starbucks is there. Everything you need if you like Kohl's or any of the big box stores or anything. And you have to go to Lombardi's Bakery. You just have to go there once a week. <laughs> It's on Skillman and Petaluma Boulevard North, which is kind of sort of right around the corner. And um, it's really great. The 101 Brewery is around here somewhere. I haven't been to that one, but I just met somebody. Actually, I met the owner. <laughs> he was serving at an event. And um, so this is like a shared driveway, three bedrooms, four bedroom houses in the million dollar mark. A million eighty, this one across the street, last fall in 2021 this is march 2022 and um so who knows how much these houses are right now probably a little bit more and because houses are a little bit scarcer if people are bidding and outbidding each other they can go for a lot more so uh this is a nice neighborhood and uh hey if you're moving from san francisco you're working for autodesk salesforce what else twitter google um, I know y'all are like move, working from home now and some of you were thinking I could have a whole house in the backyard for what I pay for rent in San Francisco. I understand it. Uh, San Francisco and Sonoma County have had a symbiotic nice relationship for many hundreds of years or maybe a hundred years. <laughs> Only they used to ride up here on horseback, right? Uh, but these neighborhoods are still um, really attractive to people moving out of the cities and um, even the East Bay. I get phone calls all the time. People taking on jobs with Kaiser, the big hospital here, or the, the medical care company, um, Sutter, working for Grayton Casino, working for Clover Dairy, working for um, some of the pharmaceutical companies, Calix and Cyan, uh, Intraderm, I believe it's called. Um, a lot of people um, call me and ask me because they're relocating for perhaps a new job or a new position here at one of those uh, companies here in Petaluma. So keep calling me. I enjoy talking to you and I can help you transition into Petaluma. Hey, I know you're moving into Sonoma County and you need a little help and my team and I are here to get you transitioned into Sonoma County and we don't care, you know, if you're not moving for three months, six months, ten months or a year, you can call me in the morning, at noon, even up to like 9.15 at night and we can talk about what it's going to take to have you transition into Sonoma County. So, my phone number's on the screen. It's also down in the show more section right below the video. There's even a little V right there if you're looking at your phone. That's also the show more section so my contact information is right at your fingertips we all look forward to meeting you talking to you and helping you transition into Sonoma County and I'll see you around the neighborhood the next video is coming up right here